Jeff Favors on the Hat Homestead. Today, let's review my unique freezer I purchased. And the reason why I'm doing this review is I've gone through one tank already, and so I'm on a second. So I just wanted to give you some information about the usage on the tank so that you kind of get an idea of the, if you were using this unique freezer on the propane usage. This is just to remind people, and I'll put a link, I don't know, maybe like over here or over there, wherever, on the freezer uh, video I did when I first got it and I threw some meat in there. So let me just kind of refresh everyone. On this unique freezer, it's six cubic feet. It's propane, it's also 110. So it's AC power. This freezer I purchased in Nebraska and I actually picked it up because I was deer hunting and all that, but again, you can see another video for the details on that. Six cubic feet. When I turned this on, it went the first day with no meat inside, so it was bare. The second day we had meat inside, and then like two days later, then we filled it up. And filled it up meaning I still had about a one and a half cubic feet, maybe two cubic feet left. So we used probably about four cubic feet. The temperature inside, I don't know how well this is going to come out here. It's currently a minus six degrees. So that's pretty decent for a freezer. Now my outside temperature, I've left it inside my enclosed trailer. The temperature in here currently is showing at about 66. It's, a, it's the warmest day since I've gotten this so far. So on here in the homestead, temperatures have been anywhere from I've recorded um, 12 degrees, well actually one night was 10, but basically about 12 degrees to about 55 degrees during the day. Today it's super warm, it's the hottest day of the winter, and it's, in fact tonight's only going to get down to 38, whereas most of the other nights have been either in the high teens or low 20s. I'd say probably about 85% of my nights have been in the low 20s to upper teens, okay? And the days have been in the low 50s, upper 40s max. That's to kind of give you what the outside temperature is. The inside temperature, the minus six it's showing now, it maintained that. I've seen it minus four, I've seen it minus eight, but minus six seems to be the most common. I went, this is a 40 pound tank, also known as a 10 gallon tank, also known as two times the size of a grill tank. The grill tank is a, 25, is a 20 pound tank. Propane is about four pounds per gallon. I think it's, yeah, four pounds per gallon. It might be technically 4.2 or something ridiculous like that, but roughly four pounds per gallon. So that's why a 10 gallon tank is referred to as a 40 pound tank. It is, again, twice the size of a grill tank. The rating was 1.8, so two pounds per 24 hour period. So that's a half a gallon. A half a gallon per day was its usage. This thing ran on that tank with those temperatures I gave you as the outside temperatures for 26 days. Half a gallon a day comes out to like 13 gallons. So that only holds 10 and they never fill them up to 10. They only fill them like 80, 85%. So I got better usage out of this propane than the rating was and I think that was because of my cold temperatures at night it didn't have to run as much because it's propane it does need ventilation and I have a window open here I've got my vent up here open so I am getting ventilation but this is a closed room so this is equivalent to a utility shed if you will so if you put this out in your utility shed no heat source obviously and at least some ventilation, you'll probably get, with my temperatures being outside, like I said, 26 days off of a 40 pound tank. So that's my review. I just wanted to give you an idea of the unique six cubic foot freezer. The first 26 days, I only used one large tank and my temperature pretty much maintained at minus six degrees. Now when I get my solar set up, I will at that time set it up on AC and I want to measure how much usage it's really drawing over the same period of time and I'm hoping to do that in January 
so the temperatures will be roughly the same and that I think will give people at least me a really good benchmark during the winter months on what the propane usage is and what the draws the draw will be on your AC power Jeff Arizona at Homestead don't forget to like share comment subscribe now see you on the next video